So let's dive right into Libra's energy for this upcoming full moon. Let's see what you need to release through this energy. Most important message here for Libra spirit. What do my Libra friends need to know? What do they need to see through this full moon energy? Please and thank you. Eight of staffs. Seven of Cups. Star energy. There's something here that you need to get off your chest. You feel like options, multiple options. You're one of many options. Okay. And I do feel like this is something that you need to speak up and say. You need to get this off of your chest. Okay. Okay. I do feel like it may be important to be strategic about what you say. That's why this is coming up. But holding back from speaking what's on your heart is only going to cause more harm than good. The energy surrounding you at this time, Libra, is the Wheel of Fortune. So you don't want to rock the boat because things are feeling good, going good, feeling positive. Okay. But by you just accepting, <clears throat> here's how I see this playing out. Um, let me give you a little brief description before we get into that. So how I see this playing out is a person who is in a relationship and they, for whatever reason, maybe this is because this is their livelihood, this is their stability, maybe for the kids, for business, for whatever reason you deal so what do i mean by that like you put up with every little thing that they throw at you and you maybe even don't speak up about it you just let it blow over but this is causing more harm because it's creating blockages it's really it's hardening your heart in essence so even if that's not the entire case right now Eventually, you're going to feel devoid of any emotion if you don't already because you're in this teeter-totter. You're trying to make it work, trying to do the right thing, trying to not rock the boat, uh, but sacrificing yourself in the process. The biggest part of the challenge your Libra is you feel like you're in limbo. You feel like you're in limbo. You feel maybe even like you're sharing or you have to share. This is just something that you have to do. It's a necessary evil of being with this person is just being unhappy, being unsatisfied. So in that, you spend a lot of time alone. You take a lot of time by yourself. You disconnect a lot from the world because maybe even read a lot of books because you don't want to think about the BS, the challenge, a, a part of the challenge, Libra, there, pretty soon there's going to be a decision that's going to need to be made. Maybe you've recently met somebody or somebody is about to come into your life through work, through a friend, and this person is going to be in better alignment with what it is that you want, but you're still holding on to this past person. So the decision is going to boil down to, do I focus on the new person coming in or do I salvage this relationship and maybe even sacrifice myself ultimately for something that I'm not happy in? Now the outcome, if action is taken, so if you decide to move away from this toxic relationship, you may feel like you're stuck here. You may feel like you're trapped, you're tied, you can't get out of the situation so easily. It's easier said than done. Uh, but 
it can be undone, first of all. Don't discredit that. Uh, but what I will say is I feel like you're you're more loosely bound in this situationship than you give yourself credit for. But you're the one that ultimately has to make the decision. Nobody's going to be able to make you move away from a person that you ultimately don't want to move from. I'm simply presenting the information here, Libra, that this person isn't going to change. And so by accepting this, it's like you are going to have the courage to basically have the self-control to conform to, to what this person wants. But ultimately in that process, Libra, you're sacrificing yourself. So what are you going to do through this process to not have your heart be hardened by this? To not have this person ruin you in this process? Right? You can only do so much yoga. You can only do so much meditation before the environment that you are in is still going to have an effect on you. I'm only speaking from personal experience. So let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals, ritual kits, personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. The next ritual that we are doing is on the full moon for this full moon which is going to be june 21st it will be a live cord cutting ritual and it will be here on the channel at 1 p.m on june 21st you're more than welcome in joining us if that's something that you're interested in and i know this isn't going to be easy to hear a lot of you may already have clicked off but what i will say libra is there's sacrifices that you need to make in order to really fully come to terms and heal those parts of yourself. If you stay in this toxic environment, it's going to perpetuate. You're going to get the same thing that you've been getting for some time, and it's only going to do more harm than good. So you have to ask yourself, are you willing to sacrifice your entire being and heart for a person that right now in the present energy you may feel disconnected from. Your moon manifestation oracle coming out as cycles here, Libra. What goes around comes around. Whatever you are planning to do or to reveal by asking your question will be revisited in other circumstances. Be clear about your action and you will surely meet this experience again. Remember what goes around comes around. Like the moon that revolves around the planet, the energy that you express in your next action will orbit around you. So make sure it's a good choice. Libra, I'm just the messenger. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support for information again on rituals, ritual kits, personal readings in the description box. But if this is where I leave you, Libra, thank you for all the love and support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, I just want to come on really quickly and let everybody know that I'm posting content on Patreon, on OnlyFans, and on the YouTube membership platform. It's going to be guided meditations. I'll do some sound healing and maybe even throw in some yoga videos. If that's something that you're interested in, you're more than welcome to join. The information will all be linked below in the description box. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.